Today we're talking about inserting a table of figures. Now, when we go to the references tab, we'll see under the captions category, we have insert table of figures. So what has a table of figures got to do with the caption? Well, as we scroll through our document, we'll see the following. Here, for example, is a picture of a chart. And underneath it, it's got what looks like a label saying figure two percentage of material recovered. This is actually a caption that links to this particular picture. So if I scroll through, there I've got figure three related to that picture. Right, so let's go up to table of figures and let's insert one. Since I already have captions, I'm going to say insert table of figures. I'm going to use the default um, settings that we have and I'm going to click OK. Now there you'll see I've got figure two and figure three and that's all fine. You'll also see that if I double click on that, I can actually update that table when I make changes. So let's go and make a change. As I scroll through, I notice that I've got this picture, but it's got no caption to it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to click on my picture and I'm going to say insert caption. Now it comes up with figure one. Why one? Because this is the first picture and it's ahead of the others. So now I'm just going to say paper and cans just as this example and I'm going to click OK. Now I have a caption in place. I've got figure one, figure two and figure three. When I go up to my table of figures, what am I going to do? Double click on it. I'm going to go to references, my table of figures over here, and I'm going to say update table. And then I'm going to indicate that I want the entire table updated and click OK. And just like that, I've now brought in another caption into my table of figures.